Hi everybody, my name is Dana and I'm with the Nordine Technical Service Department and we're back again with another good technical tip for you. And today's tip is regarding this little guy right here. On any Nordine G7 single stage high efficiency or two stage high efficiency, you are going to find this little black ABS plastic piece that will uh, accompany the furnace. This is the intake air finish flange and it actually plays a rather important part regarding the intake combustion air that ultimately will enter into the cabinet of the furnace and feed the burners. Uh, there's a trick to making sure that you get this intake uh, air finish flange installed correctly and that is to just simply basically inspect the flange quickly before you mount it and place the three screws in place. Sublimated into the plastic of the flange, you're going to find the word front, okay? It's important that you find that and it is important that front faces out to the front of the cabinet of the furnace and I'll show you why. In the event that you get the intake air flange installed incorrectly, you will discover that you may have some flame proving issues uh, ultimately when the furnace goes to fire for combustion. Okay, so I'll give you a working example of, of what would happen there in that instance. So when the finish flange is mounted correctly, imagine this being your intake air. Your combustion air, uh, and especially in a two-pipe install, two-pipe installs are very, very popular where you have dedicated 100% outside fresh air. Your intake air will come down and it will enter into the flange. And if you notice on the interior of the flange, we have some angled louvers, which ultimately provide directional air in to support the burners for combustion. But when you have the flange mounted correctly, your intake air is going to come down, it's going to enter through the flange, and it's ultimately those louvers are going to work to help deflect or ultimately guide that intake air so that ultimately it enters down and kind of breaks off and goes to the left, if you will, uh, almost as if it was coming to the left hand side of your cabinet as you were viewing the furnace. Okay, so your intake air would come down basically travel through the louvers and then deflect that air down and to the left. In the event that you get the intake air installed incorrectly, now what will happen is that the intake air will come down, it will travel through the louvers, and as you can see here, I don't even have to support the, uh, the demonstrator there, if you will, because right now that is resting right on the last burner of the manifold. Your intake air will come down, it will pass through the louvers, and it will basically drop that intake air right against that last burner. That last burner is the home of the flame sensor. So ultimately, your flame sensor will be sitting there and you've got that intake air coming in, pushing your fuel off away from the flame sensor, and then it's gonna struggle to prove flame. So ultimately, if you see that the furnace fires and struggles to prove flame and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, well, I've, I've cleaned the flame sensor, I've done all these other things, what's going on? Take a close look at that intake air flange position. Make sure that it has been installed correctly. Again, you want to find the word front. It's sublimated into the plastic collar, if you will, of the intake air flange. You want to make sure that when you mount it, that front is actually facing out from the front of the cabinet. Thanks again for watching. We hope you find these technical tips informative and useful. Always be sure to keep checking back for new videos. We'll post new videos as we move along through the year. Thanks again for watching.